It is Tuesday, and that means it's time to find out what's happening in Nebraska's great outdoors. Joining us now with more is Jeff Rollinson with the Nebraska Game and Parks Commission. Nice to have you here, Jeff. Well, it's always great to be here. And yeah, this is, you know, we're seeing a lot of red fox around mm -hmm. town. I thought, let's talk about that because, you know, it's just one of the coolest critters in Nebraska, if you ask me. They're one <laughs> that have done so well uh, with humans and human interaction. So I, I'd say enjoy them and enjoy watching them. Uh, but yeah, we're seeing a lot of these around Lincoln. Of course, red fox uh, is a small canine critter, the largest of the fox uh, species, but uh, but a small orangish uh, critter critter, long fluffy tail, uh, really cool species that I, we call them a synanthropic edge type species. That's just a fancy word for saying they have benefited very well from habitat alterations caused by humans and they also do well where two different types of habitats come together and so they're a good edge species and we're seeing a lot more in town because obviously there's a lot of food in town. Uh, this is just a smorgasbord and in, in we get into uh, urban uh, urban areas across Nebraska where you've got trash and you've got mice and voles and you know garbage and, and uh, of course rabbits. We're seeing a lot of rabbits in town lately, and of course that just draws in uh, little, little, those little guys, and they do really well there, as well as avoiding larger predators like the coyote. The red fox and the coyote are not good friends. They don't get along very well, and so the red fox can avoid the coyote by being more in town, so that's an, another important reason as well. Uh, and of course there's a lot of places for them to, you know, buildings and, and uh, old sheds and structure that they can, they can find all kinds of uh, habitat needs, warmth, uh, places to rear their young, and so forth. So uh, in, us, in essence, the human altered landscape has done really well for these guys. And uh, I always kind of count myself lucky when we see red fox here in, in, uh, in, in and around town. Uh, and so they're adapting very well. They're doing well. If you see red fox, don't approach them. Like all wildlife, just leave them be. But they're just one of the coolest species out there, in my opinion. And they're something that uh, I always say we are the gateway to the west. So uh, mm -hmm. we expect to see some wildlife. Uh, in our urban areas, and Red Fox is one of those that I think is just pretty cool. Yeah, are other communities around Nebraska seeing them as well? Absolutely, especially in the eastern part of the state. Absolutely, in, you know, Lincoln, Omaha, uh, and any of the uh, 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 bigger towns and smaller towns, even around uh, the eastern part of the state, especially, are doing. Uh, they can do quite well. Yeah, they are cool, but like you said. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I respect them, give them their distance, mm -hmm. let, them, let them be, but they are just one of the coolest. You know, people say what to do if you see a fox, they don't do anything. They're just kind of cool. They pose little to no risk whatsoever oh, okay. to, to humans, so just uh, just enjoy the show. <laughs> <laughs> anything else going on? Uh, wildlife tracking right now. We've got all kinds of things going on in the outdoors, all kinds of, of uh, outdoor activities. We just did a press release on the top seven things to do outdoors this winter, so go to OutdoorNebraska.org uh, and you can view that as well. Get the kids out, do a little wildlife tracking in the snow. And chances are you'll probably, especially if you're in one of our park areas, you'll probably see some red fox tracks. Mm -hmm. So it'd be kind of cool. Very cool. All right, Jeff, thank you. All right, thanks for having me.